Alright guys, Power Bricks is back here with another Lego Megazord review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kyoto O. Now this is a dinosaur set. My second set of dinosaurs, I believe. If I'm not sure. Um, yeah. But anyway, besides me being unsure about what I built, which is clearly very, very sad, we do have a very nice set here. We have the Red Tyrannosaurus, the Blue Diplosaurus, and the Yellow Pterodactyl in this set and um, I was really really pumped about this and I've had this built for approximately a week now and I just really haven't gotten the time to review it yet because I've been having a whole bunch of stuff come in being shipped to my house and it's just like I, I want to review there's so much I have to review I'm backed up there's a lot but for now we're just gonna um slowly take our dive into this water starting off with this here the Lego stuff so, so starting off, here's the Red Tyrannosaurus, and this is my favorite T-Rex mold I've ever built. Um, simply because he looks exactly like a T-Rex, and that, um, he just looks pretty damn cool. Um, another thing I'd also like to point out is that there are more Zords that will be built for this line. For now, I have six built out of, I'm not sure how many, but they're all going to be compatible with none, with one another. <clears throat> so with that being said, let's just get into this articulation. Articulation for this guy is really, really good. You get the mouth, which is open and closed from both angles. You move his head up and down. You have the moving claws. And the legs are also on a ball joint. And a soft ratchet. And his feet are also articulated on a ball joint. You do get tail articulation to move up and down. Rotate, but really that's all you're going to get. Basic T-Rex stuff, probably more than most T-Rex swords you're ever going to get. But um, it's really nice. And just getting a look at his face overall, really, really nice. I do like that a lot. Um, yeah, I just enjoy that quite a bit. And then also there's these things that they all have. They're all called a dino chip. And each one of the swords have one. And here is the T-Rex Dino Chip here. You get the focus. There it is. Just quite simple little chip. Plug it right back on. And he's activated to move. So yeah, guys, that's just pretty much it for that. Um, really nice size. And he does have quite a bit of heft to him. He's really big. So um, yeah, let's move on. Next, we have the Diplosaurus, which is Blue Zord. And golly, is this guy big. This is the biggest, well, no, this is not the biggest. This is the longest blue Zor I've ever built. And it is cool, but it doesn't do too much. Now, being for what it is, I'm pretty sure it's an open guess on what you think it's going to be. You, you guessed it. Set of arms. So, yeah, let's just get into this articulation really quickly. Um, I won't switch the scene because it doesn't do too much. Now, you just get... A slight bend there. That's all you're gonna get. Um, if I actually move this back, then you can get more. Cause I had that on wrong, my mistake. But it's really supposed to be about there. The head can move up and down. It is on a ratchet, so you can get some articulation. Same with the upper head up there. His little horn is poseable, and his tail is also on a ratchet and it's on a ball joint so really you get decent articulation out of this guy but um you won't get too much of what you really expect which is a lot of articulation so here is the dino chip also quite simple if I get it to focus ah uh, come on come on there we go yeah, so it's uh, quite simple, you know, not really too much to drool over, but all in all, it serves its purpose as the Diplosaurus. Last but not least is the Pterodactyl, and Pterodactyl is a small little one, but it's also one of those that you can't hate, because it's just simply a small little cute Pterodactyl. And in Power Rangers slash Super Sentai, that's what we get a lot. So, this was primarily um, reference to the Abuden 
Pterodactyl or the Pterodactyl Zord from Power Rangers Dino Thunder, mainly the entire set was, in a way, has this nostalgic feel to it. Now, just simply going over the articulation for this female is really, really simple. You get head, which goes a full 360, up and down. You get leg articulation, little feet. The wings can move, and you can position them however you like. I think that looks pretty dope. Yeah, it looks pretty dope like that. Yeah, so um, you just get these really interesting positions and stuff out of this. And really, I do enjoy this pterodactyl zord quite a bit. And I really will feel bad when it's time to take this thing apart. Because this is one of my favorite dinosaur sets next to the Rorgin. And Rorgin was legendary to me. So this is just another <laughs> little knockoff of what Rorgin was. Rorgin was probably one of my best builds. The Roar Ranger line. Especially the box art. I should have done box art for this. But for my next set, I will. And a fan gave me an excellent idea. I can't remember your name, but... You know what I'm talking about. I responded to your comments and I was telling you how to build. Dude, you're amazing. I really appreciate that. And I'll give you full cred. And for those who have the request builds, don't worry, yours are on the way too. I've just been slowed down. So yeah, that's primarily it for the pterodactyl. And let's move on to the transformation. Getting this guy merged up is quite the hassle in a way, but it's still good all in all. So we're gonna start off with the T-Rex and we're just going to pull off his tail and put this down. And this is the weapon. Next, we're going to fold up the claws and put the head down. After that, we're going to open up the thighs, making arms. And then we're just going to bring around and position his legs to fit in these little grooves here. If that's going to work correctly. Alrighty. Um... That's primarily how it works. And there is your upper body. If you turn the fist around, of course. Don't be an idiot. Um, like me. But there is your upper body. Next are the legs. And for the legs, we're just going to split the Diplosaurus in half. Take off the fin. Stand it up. Bring these pegs down. Rotate that. Flip it around. Same here. Same exact process. Actually, no. It's actually this one is the opposite leg. No. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's absolutely right. So, yeah. Just do it like that. And there are your legs. Now, connecting them is quite, pretty simple. I'm going to say quitty, if that's even a word. Um, put these into there. Now, there are these two pegs. These two holes. Just... Plug them right in there and rotate those down. Now, for those who are asking where to get the ratchet joints, because that's the main question I always get asked, you just go on eBay. You can get a whole bunch of them for really, really cheap. So just go check that out. All right. So next, we're actually, we actually have the body primarily. The entire zone is pretty much done. So we're going to come to the bird and first. We're going to rotate the, we'll swing the wings down, take off this star and the dino chip. So next, we're just going to bring the wings inwards and leave those forward. And we're just going to set the pterodactyl right on top of the entire thing. Place it in the middle and then we come back here and we're going to fold that down. And there it is. The upper body. Almost finished, guys. So then next, we're going to get the star that was on the pterodactyl. And just plug it. If I could get it lined up evenly. Right there between the T-Rex head. Get the dino chip. And plug that on the side. And last but not least is the head.
When Kyoto Yu Oh is merged up, he looks fantastic and awesome. I just love the overall aesthetic of this guy, and I couldn't be more satisfied with this dinosaur all in all completely. Um, with that being said, it does have its flaws. I will always point out my own flaws. For one, is the face. It doesn't completely flat sit flat down. It kind of is raised up. But then again, that's just a small flaw. And that's really nothing I can complain about. Other than that, articulation is pretty basic. Being that we only get 360 arm rotation. I'll take the sword out. But 360 arm rotation. And that's just about it. And just giving you a look at his face. The camera can just put your sword down, guy. Um, just a little something. It looks a little crappy. And I do have a story about these faces. Now, this face took me three tries over. Because I had a different face, which looked really, really nice. But it was like a dull, dark gray. And I wasn't really fond of how the color looked. So, therefore, I re-switched it out with this silver. And I used all metallic marker for this one and the, I mean for the second time I just completely skipped that one I did this same process but it just smudged off when it was dry because one of the Lego pieces weren't it wasn't a real Lego piece it was like a cheap Lego so that just came all off and that didn't work well so I redid it again on a real Lego piece that I found and it worked so with that being said that's pretty much it for this review and this is Power Bricks signing off